Hey guys, how's it going? It is Master of here, back on Boom Beach with another episode for you today. Now today is going to be something that quite a lot of you have actually requested down in the comments section uh, of the last video. You guys asked if you can do anything else with the smoke. So today I thought I would test two things out for you. We're going to test warriors with smoke and maybe heavies with smoke depending on how well the... Uh, the uh, sorry, the riflemen with smoke. I don't know why I said warriors. The riflemen with smoke, and then the heavies with smoke, depending on uh, how well these uh, riflemen do. So it, all in all, we've got. I, oh man, I don't even know about sixty. Uh, I don't quite know how many we have in here. A lot of riflemen, uh, and we're gonna try to smoke them out. Now I think they're gonna need a new tactic because, I mean, they're riflemen. They're probably gonna need something new. So we're gonna go out and see if we can find an easiest one to attack. Uh, and see if we can fend it. Ah, perfect name. Mostly harmless. Let's see if that is the truth. And see if... Okay, no. Probably <laughs> probably not mostly harmless for what we're about to do. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, we might as well give it a go. That is what we're here for. So, what we want to do is spawn everybody out. And obviously get everybody, everybody to the same place. Now, I actually want to get them all back at the back of the map, if possible. So, I think I'm going to need to, like, a, a double smoke the whole way. So, let's do double smokes. The whole way. Where is everybody going? Seriously, what are they doing all the way over there? All right, go right to the back then. Oh my god, guys, this is this is not working. This is not working as planned. Actually, I didn't really plan for it to work. If I'm being totally honest, I really didn't think it'd work. And uh, this is kind of the reason why. This it's just too hard to. It's too hard to organize this many troops that have no idea what they're doing. Come on, guys, you can do this. Destroy this base. I haven't got anything I can use. They've taken out some of the close defenses, to be fair to them. Uh, but that, I mean, that rocket launcher is just going to take them out. I think that's going to be the problem is stuff like rocket launchers. They've actually done all right. This is even better than I was expecting them to do. So, hats off to you, riflemen. I didn't think they were even going to get half of it taken out. But um, they have got, like, nearly three quarters of it taken out. We'll try them again. And we'll see uh, if we can do it another tactic. So... Okay, that that didn't work. How many riflemen do we have as well? We have 93 riflemen. So this is a 93 army uh, battle brigade. Let's go see if we can find someone else. So we want to find someone else that doesn't have a rocket launcher. Because the rocket launcher does damage. A lot, a lot of damage. I think these would actually machine guns as well. They're going to be a real big problem. We almost want something that has a separated... Uh, HQ because they're all so crammed in together. I don't think that's gonna work. We're gonna need something that has the HQ slightly separated. Let's see if this guy's uh, building had anything. Um, is that possible? I mean, that's that's as possible as it's gonna get, I guess. Don't you think? I think what they'll do though is they'll attack everything around it first. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's see if this one is possible. So this is a uh, this is a player base. This is this ain't any base. This is this is a player base. Let's put everybody over to that first building. We're gonna smoke them there. We're gonna smoke them there. So we're gonna send them through nicely smoked. Oh god, we're gonna lose a load. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, now we need to move them up towards the HQ. Oh my god, no, they've all been taken out of the smoke. No! Flamethrower, no! Naughty flamethrower. Don't do it, flamethrower. Alright, so that's that's them all there. So I don't know what more I can do now, uh, but they, I want them to take out that flamethrower. So we're going to smoke them, smoke them, sorry, heal them with the medikit. We're going to throw that down. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll think about taking out this flamethrower. Oh my god, guys. I don't think that the rifleman and, and, uh, and smoke is going to work at all. That is just dreadful. They sit too far away from it, and it's, that's impossible. Okay, so up next is the heavies and smoke. Oops, that's just one. Uh, let's see if this will work. Now, this one has a little bit more potential initially in my eyes because, uh, obviously, <clears throat> the heavies sit right next to their targets because they're very close range. So, this could be this could be a possibility, but, obviously, they shoot epically slowly. Like, epically slowly. I mean, their, their power is just... They basically don't have power. Um, so I almost want to find something with lots of machine guns around them. I believe they walk... Do they walk slow? Or are these faster ones? I think they're actually not too slow. I think they're alright. So we want to find something, uh, completely opposite to what we were looking for before. 
Let's see what we've got. Two dust. How about two dust? Um. All right. All right. This one. Actually, this one could be. This one could be a winner. I'm saying that with utter confidence right now. So let's get everybody grouped over there to the flamethrower. Smoke them out as we go. So they sit kind of that distance away. Okay. So we want to get them all behind this here. So let's smoke them as they go. All the way. Go on, boys. Yes. All right. So they're right behind the rocket launcher now. Hopefully they'll take out this rocket launcher. I'm actually going to help them take out this mortar with a couple of hits. There we go. So that rocket launcher is down. All right, guys. We've taken down the rocket launcher. They've taken down the mortar. And now, if we sit everybody back here... I don't know if this, this is going to work. It's kind of the smoke tactic. We've kind of gone off board a little bit uh, with the fact that I have had to do other stuff. But they are going at it. They are going ham and hard at this. This could be a tactic that will work on, on certain, very, very few maps, to be fair. Very few maps. So I don't quite know if this is as much damage as they do, isn't it? This is... This is, a, this is a little bit slower than I was expecting. I thought they'd be a bit more powerful than this. But then again, I think this HQ, by the way, did have over 100 uh, hit points health. I'm not 100% sure on that, actually. But that's what I think it had. So, they're doing okay. Come on, boys. You can do this. They, they, yeah, they are dropping quite quickly from this sniper, fi sniper fire, to be fair. But we should have enough to finish this base. So we might have found a tactic that will work on very, very special occasions. And I say that with uh, a couple of varies because there's not much occasions that this is going to help, to be totally honest. I mean, the, but if we were using warriors now, we would have probably destroyed like five bases or something crazy like that. But with that all said and done, guys... The heavies have done it. They actually did it. So the heavies work better than the riflemen. Let's go see if we can do that again with the with these same heavies. We're not going to regen them. And then we're going to compare them to, to the warriors. Uh, the initial warriors. So this is another to dust. Um, so this is the... Ex ah, there we go. That's the reason why it had 130,000 uh, health. That is crazy. That's what the other one had as well. Because they were the exact same level. It's pretty much two of the exact same ones I'm doing right here. So we want to smoke out just in front of it because that seems to be where they kind of spawn and then they go sit there we're gonna go waddle behind again so go my friends go all the way to the back uh, like so working like a treat okay take that out which is what they're doing I don't know if we can take out this sniper tower do we have enough please say we have enough oh my god are we gonna be able to do it I'm gonna put down this because I think that'll do more damage please do it please do it please do it Oh my god, we've actually done it. Guys, this is actually going to work again. I am not even lying. This heavy tactic is unbelievably slow. And in very, very, I don't know, tight circumstances, like this one, it has actually worked. I, I cannot believe this. I mean, I don't know if they're going to do this in the amount of time that they have, but I cannot believe that worked because everybody said... <coughs> Try Rifleman. Rifleman will be the one that's going to work. And I was like, the only problem is they do sit quite far away. And obviously, if you have anything like a rocket launcher, a machine gun, a flamethrower, basically anything, a mortar tower as well, you're going to be taken out so fast. So, I'm really glad we stumbled across this slightly okay heavy tactic. I mean, I would not suggest it to anybody. It's, and I don't think the, before even anybody asks, the Zooka tactic will not work on this one. The Zooka tactics are just, first of all, they're really slow when they're walking. They're like super slow. But second of all, they, they sit pretty much the same distance as a tank would. Like past these trees, like probably like here. That's where they sit. So we'd have to smoke so far out. I mean, again, I'm sure it'd work on very, very, very small circumstances. But in the overall kind of thing... I think you're going to want to stick to Warriors, guys, because, I mean, unless you have this amount of time to sit here and kind of watch it, you're going to be quite a while. You know what? Let's smoke something out just for fun. Let's smoke out this sniper. Mwahaha. Have some smoke. Yeah, there we go. That wasted like five seconds. Come on, heavies. You can do this. You are nearly, nearly there. 
Also, guys, if you have, while this is going, if you have any ideas for any other kind of troop tactics you want me to try out for you guys, uh, because obviously I have the, the, the opportunity to kind of throw some diamonds in and skip stuff so I can, like, you know, use, like I just did then, like I, ge I gemmed, I guess you would say, the, uh, the heavies so we can do it all together and we can actually see. Now, I know a lot of you guys want to see these kind of things, so make sure you comment down below if you have any other tactics you want to see. Uh, you know what, let's try this one more time. We're not even going to see what this one is. Oh my god, they are going to get pummeled. They're going to take like an hour to get there to start off with. Alright, we're going to go straight for the HQ here. So they hopefully, that's alright. They've all bunched up together, which is which is a good enough start. We're going to put that down here. We're going to put a smoke down. Okay. Another smoke about there. Another smoke about there. I'm actually going to put another flare on because I'm worried that flare is going to stop any second. All right, so now they're on it. This is the the general tactic we would use for warriors, and I think they're just out the smoke. Uh, no, they're okay. But now what we'd we we'd do is shock them and then heal them and see how these guys go. Look at them going absolutely ham on this HQ. They're trying their best, bless them. But it's the cannons are taking them out in one shot still. Goodbye, Derek. There we go. That is the end of that, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Something a little bit different. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit like down below. And again, like I said, make sure you comment if you want to see any type of troops that I can use. I'll hopefully be getting uh, some of the new, well, the new troop, the uh, medic, relatively soon. And I can throw him to the, into the mix and see what happens. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.